<laughs> Hell no. Uh, what's good, y'all? Uh, back with a uh, Assassin's Creed video. <laughs> Yo, that SpongeBob clip in my head the whole, bro. That SpongeBob clip in my head for a minute, bro. I forgot what I had to do, bro. Oh, shit, bro. Nah, that's too funny, bro. The past. A vast web of connections and interconnections all ruled by chance. Or is it? 64 squares unlock the file. Okay. Nah, that shit too funny, bro. Okay, yeah, I think I was supposed to go up this ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Right? This the right way, right? This is we supposed to be, uh, it's the last of the Mohicans, right? Oh, I almost just fell right there. Now I gotta get over there. I like it. Mm. Nah, what a I'm guy. Hmm. Y'all think I can make it over there? Be honest. Oh, we got a line right here. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Swords. Hmm. Mm. Mm. What's up? Wait. Let me go this. Uh huh. Oh, I'm blocking. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. What's up? Oh, shit. Dodge. Uh-huh. Oh, my. I'm nice. I'm nice. No. No, 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 no. All right, there we go. Oh, nice. And then we yeah, just got to go up. Damn, this lot. But yeah, speaking. Bro, that SpongeBob clip, bro. Bro, SpongeBob is the first, like, three, four seasons of SpongeBob, bro, undefeated, man. Shit is hilarious, bro. That clip been in my head for at least a day, bro. Oh shit! Oh my god, now I gotta climb that all over again. Rest in peace. Let me ask y'all a question. If y'all shit balding, right? Say like like how he his shit just was. If your shit balding at the top, or say like you 
you know, you're getting some patches and shit. Are you just cutting it all off, or are you like... And I'm saying during this time, too, because, you know, going to Turkey wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Are you keeping it like that, or are you just shaving that bitch off? Or even now, like, what would you do? Like, would you... Would you, would you go to Turkey, or would you just, like... You do some Bosley, or would you just, like, say, fuck it, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm bald, bro. It is what it is. I guess it depends on, like, head shape and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it was, yep, yeah, this one. Brother, as you've no doubt heard by now, he hunts us in search of retribution. We should never have consented, never have conspired. But what's done is done. And so... I have called a meeting with Maestro three nights from now to ask for sanctuary, either in Venezia or with him or in Roma. We will assemble at the church in San Gimignano and travel to the meeting location at the appointed hour. I urge you to attend. Remaining here would be suicide. The assassin is relentless. We cannot hope to stop him on our own. But perhaps, aided by Maestro, we might buy ourselves the time to form a proper response. Guard yourself well. Firenze may be lost to us, but it does not have to mean our end. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Your brother, Jacobo. So he already know that Ezio is out to get, the, get everybody. And he is kind of letting, kind of making him regret the decision to even do it. But he like, shit, ain't no turning back now. I just gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? You know, just keep you, make sure you are. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, it makes sense. Shit. With friends like these, tell Jacopo the Pazzi to the Templar meeting, then assassinate him. You ain't gotta tell me twice, baby. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my least. He's right there. Shh. No, no, he's not. Where is that bitch? No, he's right. He's right there. Can I kill him right now or maintain distance from the target? That's him though. Okay then. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay, but I okay, but I do know that it's him though. I do know that it's him. So I gotta follow him all the way to the meeting. I thought I thought they were just gonna let me kill him now. Sure. But I gotta, look, I gotta follow him all the way to the meeting. And then that's when I strike down. Obviously that's the quest, but Thought it was like one of those situations how it was before where you just locate him and chase him down, but I see now. I see now. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. All right. I'll have more names for my least. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hire you bitch ass niggas. What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me in as much as I know. Oh, I see you now. He, he, he finna piss me off. Move. Sinking in shit. Too close, though. Not too close. Is 
So while we doing this, how was y'all day today, man? I've been doing all right, man. Can't complain. Um, you know, just trying to get my stuff in order. You know, what I'm saying, trying to update the, uh, uh, you know, just trying to, trying to, trying to get more stuff to update the, you know, the, the, the content. You know what I mean? Do different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a PC. Um, or like, you know, try to get a PC or like, you know, uh, you know, I got, I got other video ideas that I want to do with, uh, people, um, that y'all might see in the near future. Who knows? You and the others planning, But, um, yeah. You bitch ass nigga, stop, bro. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, bro. Why the fuck is he following me, bro? Mo. God, that nigga is annoying. Well, aren't you a funny monkey? But yeah, I'm just trying to I'm trying to get uh other stuff going. So I could, you know what I'm saying, do different stuff for the channel. You know what I'm saying? I got stuff planned, I just gotta execute it. It's not, uh just gotta get it at the right time. Stuff Oh, it's three of them niggas. Oh, yo, yo. Yo. yo, I'm finna lose it. I'm finna lose it. On my mama I'm finna lose it. On my mama I'm finna lose it. That was fucking close. Your letter mentioned Venezia. I heard Templars there as well. But yeah, just stay, just stay tuned for the for the for the content. You know what I'm saying? I got a plan, and I hope y'all stick around for it. You know what I'm saying? He said assassinate. I don't think I should assassinate him. There we go. I like that. Yeah. Oh, I got a. So I got another question for y'all. So, you remember I was doing them, uh, them storm stories, right? I was wondering if y'all wanted to like for me to keep doing them, cause I got a couple in the vault right now. But, um, you know, I had a couple in the vault, but I don't know if y'all want. Oh, sir. Shit. Yeah, just keep your distance, my nigga. Keep your distance. Just follow him, bro. Just follow him. Nobody. Nobody. Many men are responsible for my father's death. Fuck! Oh my god, bro. Buy me a little time. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. Else the others would be here with you. You say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. Mm. We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. Wow. 
No. Please. No, don't. <laughs> don't. Please don't what? Damn. Could have been a little more dramatic. Fix this. Spare me. No. Damn. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to this! Stupid ass. I wasn't gonna let him finish talking. He's a henchman. Oh, what's up? What's up? Fuck a hidden blade. What's up to y'all? What a sword at, yeah. What a sword at. I be forgetting I have them fucking thrown out, bro. Anyways, no time. That shit like a Batman kill. Fire uh. Miko. Libero da Fardelli e Paure. Requiesca di pace. Damn. Fuck him though. Finish him? Am I playing the right game? Fuck with Assassin's Creed. This kind of this this shit gas though. This shit gas because you kind of learn. Um, you're learning about history, but it, you know, it still has a lot of like fiction in it too. But you still learn about a good amount of things in history, like notable names like Da Vinci, and just like certain things in Italian, like old Italian culture, or just like culture back then in general. It's like it's like a history lesson with some fun in it. I don't know how accurate it is, but there are some things that seem like they're they're pretty accurate, you know. Even if it's just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, all right, let's go. I think I I think I read this already. Yeah, I think I read that already. This is my crib. Or not. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, Pignolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La Bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Mm. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. Talk to me. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned. It will not grant you immunity from the law. I understand. 
che la fortuna favorisca la tua dama. I was gonna say the wrong language. <laughs> I did, I was gonna say the wrong language, bro. Can I change my, uh, my fit? I could change my fit, right? I gotta go to the, uh... Oh, no, I can't, I can't change it. Medici K, Altair. Let's go with the cape since he just gave it to me. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's let's go with that. I mean, ah, uh, sure, <laughs> sure. Why not? Whatever. Sure. I, 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 that literally just reminded me that I could change my outfits. I forgot I could do that. I ain't gonna lie. Speaking of Assassin's Creed, though, you know, I'm playing it. Um, I seen a video of the, I guess the newest one is coming out. Said in like Japan or some shit. Let me ask y'all a question, though. Besides. When was the last time y'all y'all played Assassin's Creed for real, for real? Like, that's a genuine question. Like, when was the last time y'all played Assassin's Creed? Like, and was actually hyped for it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, some might say, you know, after the first two. Some might say probably, you know, Black Flag was the last one. Um, but, like, you know, with the new ones out, like Valhalla, um, you know, the or I think it's Origins, maybe? And like, um, Leonardo, you know, the Leonardo. New it is Piace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the Maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Grazie mille. Euro trip. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely asking because I've always heard about these games, but I never played them. So it's like, I just want to hear from your perspective because, you know, this game, this, this series has had a, a good amount of games come out. And I'll be honest, the only one that I remember, like, hearing, like, on TV for real, for real, is this one. And, uh... Like all the Etsy ones and like Black Flag. And then I just, I don't know. Cause that was when I was still reading like uh, the Game Informer magazines. What y'all know about Game Informer, bro? I feel like a lot of y'all don't even know about Game, how, how big Game Informer was back in the day. I feel like a lot of y'all, well, when I read, when I, when I look at my statistics, y'all are around my age, so y'all probably do know what that is. But, bro, Game Informer used to be the shit, bro. You could just come to school with the magazine, just look through that bit. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that shit was a hit. I can't cap. Then you used to go to GameStop and just, bro. Damn, I miss how gamer was back in the day. We are going to uh, Venice, right? We are going to Venice. Hmm. Italia, out to the mountains. But yeah, like, bro, Gaming Form used to be a hit. PS2, 360, PS3, the Nintendo Wii, DS. Like, bro, that was early 2000s is probably the best years of gaming, in my opinion. Early 2000s is definitely the best years of gaming, in my opinion. Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I uh, <laughs> have run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. <clears throat> what is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. What is it for? 
Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. I think you're all right, bros. That's the name, right? I think so. Roma Romagna, Romagna Holiday. Drive Leonardo's carriage towards Venice. Let's go. Driving mission? Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Vialto, Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are oh, they? these bitch ass well, guards. Borders, men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hi. Driving mission? Let's go! It's the actual driving mission. How do I knock them off? Oh. Yep. Nah, driving mission now. This claim. This claim, though. No cap. <laughs> I'm tired of these guards though, I'm not gonna lie. They so annoying. They so annoying, bro. He risking his life though. Hey, I mean it is kinda his job, I guess. Essentially. They got some cops though. Oh wow. What do you want me to do with that though? Hold on tight. It's going to be a little They burning up right now. Shit. Shit. The turn's not sharp enough. Shit. The turn's... Oh, God. Watch out behind you. Do something. Fuck off me. Such a pussy. Move. Move. Come on, go on. They finna start shooting them hoes again. It's not like I can drift to some shit. Hold off the. Oh, say less. Not you! Get it! Hold on. Slice. Hold on. Slice. Oh, what's up? Oh, okay. I see. Okay. What's up? Y'all gonna swing or what? What's up? Alright. Y'all jumping. Okay. Y'all jumping. What's up? Her. Okay. Alright.
What's up? Your mama can't help you. Yeah. Your mama bitch ass nigga. Mm -hmm. He blocking my though. What? You need your capo's permission? Mm -hmm. no. I'm talking that cash money shit. He's blocking them hoes though. Alright, fuck it. What's up? I'm not I'm not even giving him a time to swing. I'ma keep swinging. Ah, I can't I can't parry the uh the hammer. Just weep the fuck out of him. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And that was kind of clean, though. Definitely should be doing that more often, though. I'm, I'm just. I don't know. Race is unlocked. Okay. Assassination contracts unlocked. Okay. Career assignments unlocked, okay. Beat up events unlocked, okay. I must be a good ways in the story then. Manager, earn a large reward by tackling the boards. Your messenger warning, killing him will make you notorious. I've been notorious this whole game. Who gives a damn? Let's get going, man. Let me get a horse. Forty, founded in seven hundred ninety-eight thousand BCE by Paleolithic cavemen who were interested in flint manufacturing. Forty has been an industrial center ever since. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm putting an accent on this shit. The name comes from the Romans, Forum Livy, who built the city in 188 BCE along the Via Emilia. One of the several roads they laid after pacifying the Gauls in the region. After, uh, after Roman rule, it went from Lombard hands into church hands and then became an independent republic in 889. Infuriating the Vatican, which spent the next 400 years trying to get it back. On top of Rome's constant manipulations, Forley had to deal with a steady stream of goth uh, Byzantine, Byzantine, Lombard, and Frank martyrs for the next few centuries, along with annual flooding, which was finally brought under control by diverting nearby riveters. Riv no, not riveters, rivers <laughs> away from the city's center in 1050. Like most independent republics, Forley became a military dictatorship at the end of the 13th century and then was passed to the Ordelafi family, who, despite having a lion with his tongue playfully sticking out as a crest, were not all that cute or nice. In 1480, with the Ordelafi fighting amongst themselves over the chain of succession, the Pope stepped in and gave the city to his nephew. Girolamo Riario. But things didn't go as planned for the Pope. When Girolamo was killed, the city passed to his wife, Caterina, the Amazon of the Forley, who fought tooth and nail to prevent the Vatican from taking control. Ultimately, however, Caterina was vanquished and Forley passed into church hands. So let me ask y'all a question real quick. And I don't know. I, I sure I'm sure I can look this up, but why do European countries, especially England, use a lion for their like crest? I wonder why. I should I should look that up. But if y'all can tell me the answer, that would be nice too. Cause every a lot of things in England, especially like soccer teams and like football teams and like um you know just different like royal crests, they they deal with like lions. So I wonder like what's the significance? Even like the English. Uh, National team, they're, they're, they're the three lions. So I, I, what's the significance in that, you know? 
quick history lesson from my name. Abazia di San Mer Mer Mercuriale. Mercuriale. <laughs> the Tower of the Ab Abazia. 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it like that. Yeah, the Tower of Abazia, with its height of 75 meters, is one of the tallest in Italy. The first church on the site was destroyed by fire in 1173. The present structure was built with brick in the Lampard Romes Romanesque style and only took seven years making it one of the most miraculous construction jobs in the history of Italy. The, the colonnade to the right of the church is part of the Abbey's cloister. I feel like an idiot every time I read those things. Ezio, here, over here. Avamposto Veneziano. One of these strange glyphs Sean mentioned in his long you should go find it, blah, blah, blah. Venetian naval strategy in involved maintaining a steady chain of bases, of bases along their trade routes to the east, ensuring that its merchants were able to get there and back without being attacked by pirates or Venice's enemies, the Turks. By the end of the 15th century, Venice's fleet was occupied trying to force Charles VIII of France out of Italy, at which point Turkish forces struck without warning. Venice was soundly defeated, losing its Greek outpost. Following that, the Turks managed to invade Venetian territory in northern Italy. Although Venice was able to keep most of its territory, from that point forward, it would never again be great, be a great evil power. You know what? I want to talk about this real quick. I'm gonna talk about it after the. Um, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about it after. Um, after this. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Tra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Uh, nobody. Damn. Basta! No pass, no entrance. Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. You know I'm finna sneak on that bit. Oh, who's that? Don't just stand there. I need help. B Tutti a bordo. Help the screaming woman get back to the docks. How did you even get there? Get a boat. Jump and press X while in midair to dive into water. Venice is situated on a series on a series of islands surrounded by a lagoon, requiring travelers arriving or departing to take a trigetti tri uh, a ferry. Trigetti come in all sizes, from the small ferries that shuttle people around the city to the large ships that carry passengers to and from the mainland. Traghetto stations were run by guilds which enacted all kinds of laws to make sure that only the most connected members had the lucrative privilege of working at a station. Each station had its own rules which could range from allowing only people 40 years of age or older to work there to forcing pilots to only carry 10 passengers per ship. All right, so let me say this before, before I gotta go do this. Uh, going back to like, uh, you know, the lands and like people taking lands and stuff. I was watching this, um, I'm, I'm gonna make it brief. I was watching the Rexham documentary yesterday and the dude, uh, James McLean, McClenny, I think his name was. I think he's from like Northern Ireland. And you know, they were just talking about like, you know, I wanna be, he was like, I wanna be judged as a footballer and not, you know, as a person. And they was just showing like all the stuff about like how he was, I guess, disrespecting English culture because he wouldn't wear like the poppy um, flower because that was, uh, you know, the British, uh, involvement in, you know, like, I believe it was like Bloody Sunday and stuff like that. And, you know, he doesn't, you know, uh, stand there with the national anthem and all the British national anthem and all that stuff, you know, but when you look at it from his perspective, the reason he's doing that is because, 
you know, his people were hurt during those battles. You know, he's from Northern Ireland, and that flower means, like, fallen, his fallen brethren, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people from where he's from got killed, you know, from that situation. And, you know, the people of England were, you know, mad at him for that because, you know, they feel like they're being disrespected by him, saying, like, hey, like, he should go die and all that stuff. And it's like, damn, like, damn. You know, they saying, like, why even play for England if you're just going to do this anyway? And honestly, man, it just makes me think about how humans are never really willing to hear each other out. And if that was and if they really were able to try to hear each other out, we wouldn't have as many as many wars and we wouldn't have as many situations that could have been in that that ended terribly but could have been ended on a better foot so but that that's just that's just what i wanted to say that's what i wanted to say i could go more into it but i i want to i want to just keep it on on the track of this game press circle to repeatedly roll and use those steer where is she Like I mean, <laughs> I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Oh, that's her. I count a countess by marriage. Katerina was notorious far before she ever arrived at Fort. Forli, raised in the court of Milan, she received a classical education more tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke. At court, Katerina also acquired a passion for alchemy and hunting. In 1473, when she was 10 years old, Caterina became engaged to Girolamo Riario, the Pope's nephew. They consummated their marriage when she was 14. Once in Rome, she was held, she was held as one of the most outgoing nobles at court, while her husband had a reputation for being one of the most ruthless. With the premature death of the Pope's brother, Girolamo gained even more power, securing the titles of the Lord of Lord of Imola. And Farley, when the Pope died, looters sacked through Rome, destroying Caterina's residence. Unafraid, despite being seven months pregnant, Caterina rode on horseback to the Castel Sant'Angelo and defended the Vatican with cannon fire and soldiers. So she fought while she was pregnant. Crazy, but different times. In 1484, she moved with her family to Farley, paid off by someone with a grievance against her husband, the Orsi brothers killed Girolamo in 1488. As a result, Caterina became the ruler of Forli and Imola. She wasted no time winning the favor of nearby rulers, revisiting the tax system, and training the militia herself. Although she advocated peace, when those around her were hurt, she dealt fierce vengeance, frequently killing enemies, wives, and children in punishment. Um, while Forli was under attack by Caesar Borgia, the Pope's son, she sent the, uh, she sent the Pope a letter that had been rubbed with plague sores. Ultimately, Forli and Caterina fell to Caesar Borgia in 1499, Caterina uh, uh, was captured and sent to Rodrigo Borgia in Rome, who kept her in prison for a year in his room to have her uh, alongside his son. When she emerged from the Vatican, her hair had turned white. Exiled to Florence, Caterina died of pneumonia in 1509. Kept her in prison for you and wrote to her. Yeah, that's okay. So him and his son. She's exactly why you impress. And you are Messer. Auditore. But please. Yes, you More Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestion? There is perhaps something you could help me with. Um, I gotta go the other way. I'm all ears. Yes. 
Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Okay. Thank you, Katarina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Torre, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. Okay. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Okay. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known. It's quite all right, my friend. Tutti a bordo. Synced. An unexpected journey. All right, I'm gonna end it right here. Um, I feel like this was a good video. Um, now make sure y'all like, subscribe, um, and there'll be more coming your way. And, um, shit, I'm out, man. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.